Welcome back. As the new school year quickly approaches, parents, Jackson County School Board members, and lawmakers have been getting together to talk about improving the environment in schools. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick joins us live in the studio. Now, Haley, what's been the main topic of discussion? What has mostly been has been discussed is the topic of bullying, and this group has some new ideas that have been shown to be successful in other states. Kimberly Morris is the founder of a Jackson County group called Communities Against Bullying. She started the organization after her son Jordan was repeatedly bullied at school. I started getting bullied for how I looked, how I talked, how I, how I walked, everything like that. And I think it's important that what my mom is doing because it's, it's, I've experienced it. The group meets bi-monthly, meeting with school representatives and lawmakers to talk about improvements to the social climate in Jackson County schools. We need to build character, good character to where you treat others with respect, even if you don't agree with how they look, how they act, where they come from. Now they want to build an app to report bullying anonymously with hopes of helping solve the problem. And we know how our kids are today. You know, if it's right here, you see it. It would be the first of its kind in the state. We're just trying to way to open up the communication, a way to maybe better um, support our students or look into look into issues that they might might raise, uh, you know, within our schools. The app will also allow students to report signs of depression or even problems at home. Your child may not want to tell you. Your child may not want to tell a certain teacher, but they can, you know, quietly do it on their phone and get it off of their chest. I think that's going to be good for them, and we have that village looking out for the situation that they're bringing to our to our knowledge. The county hopes to begin app development by September of this year and will use grant money from the Sandy Hook Foundation to fund the project. Mary Lee, Jack.